Yeah. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, the video clip ended, but go ahead, Idris. Yeah, I mean, like I was saying with internet friends, like before, like I've talked to some, but I wouldn't say they're as close as, for example, me and Justin, because <laughs> normally, like before, I would let, let's just say text, like how you were saying, like I'll talk to them like so much here for like one day or two, but then it just goes silent because there's this one girl talking to she's fact, from no Australia, like but yeah. Let's see what kind of like, contract like, Let's just say up. for once a month or something, and just saying hi. How nice to see you. It's been a long time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. And that's the only downside, well, also. Oh, go ahead. Well, with us, we've managed to keep it up for a short time, but I'd say that's personally like, <laughs> I don't know, a new record. I mean, we've managed to. <laughs> Yeah, with a couple of uh, party chats and so on. And on Instagram, because unlike me, he doesn't have most social media, but that's fine because most social medias can be pretty toxic. But um, yeah, no, even then, we we still work it out with our time zones. That's the only downside about it, though, is time zones can be a bitch and you feel like, oh shit, my schedule doesn't want me to hang out with you or chat with you, and that sort of thing. But the way I see it, though, is this. Is if someone can put up with your crap, someone can put up with how you are, that sort of thing, and realize, okay, this person is who they are, blah, blah, blah. I'm still with them, no matter what. Even if they go through, go through whatever they're going through, then they're a true friend, no matter what. If you can have, like, conversations where you start laughing, having fun, and then talk about something that you had fun with today. But on the flip side, it's also good whenever you have conversations where you talk about if you're upset, pissed off, or find something really deep and all that. Yeah, that is... Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I remember you year 11, like, there was this friend of mine, like, he was... Or like, he basically just got through to me, and then like, he was like, well, a lot of people are bad, but like, but like, apologies everyone if I can start, is, yeah, apologies everyone if you don't hear what he's saying right away, because he, our connections are pretty laggy, but go ahead. But yeah, like what I said, the whole true friend and fake friend, like, I had friends, let's say from, okay, second yeah. Like, well, most year 11, I mean, this was like, like, the background, these people who I spoke to were like, foreign and, well, I had like, uh, let's say two or three, but, they were, they were just, I only hang around them, just to like, make it, just to, so you don't talk to them, oh, and I yeah. feel like, you know, there was a fun incident, like, like I say, my friend here, he got rude to me, but then like, it was like the next day, he was like, hey, he, nice. All the other. It kind of felt like, like a switch and all that. Like, yeah. like hey, I Idris, how are you? Fuck you, Idris, I hate you! Like that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there was no apparent reason he didn't even tell me. He just ran them. Yeah, and then like, all the other, we were talking to all the other friends, but then like, then like, I asked him like, to talk to them, talk to him, but then, and then almost like in that sense I felt betrayed and that's why I've been like very you know like throughout that, that time I was like a bit I was a bit shaky on friendship but I managed yeah, to like yeah. throughout the years I managed people I mean I mean like the people I met in college are like so supportive like the people here yeah, like actually say like oh good morning Idris like how are you this that like people never used to say that in second I mean back in my old school literally yeah, yeah, Basically. exactly. Oh, go ahead. Their go own ahead. group of people. And I did yeah. feel a lot lonely at, at times. But I mean, this was like, well, well, for you British people, you definitely know it's like Gen I. Like, there's this group of people. Kind of like for like, us that are freshman year. Yeah, you could say it's like middle schoolish. Kinda, I yeah, think. yeah. 
All right. Yeah, like, I try to, like, fit in, kind of like, by just watching, let's say, for example, certain YouTubers, who are actually funny, do not get me wrong, like, KFI, Van yeah. even though, like, the trick with these jobs is avoiding the cops. Right, but, like, I tried to fit all those people, but then I just still felt lonely, like, yeah, I'm not gonna fit here. There was that like this game here. Yeah. But have you heard of these Viners, Jack? I've heard a lot about Vine, but I haven't. Even when it was around, I didn't see it enough to like gather, and, one, one yeah, gather an opinion. Shooting. So I can't yeah. really say much about it. Yeah, basically there was this. Well, yeah. was it was just one me was like, "Hey, can we play on your phone?" I mean, they don't even to talk. <laughs> well, as another example, in high school, like you were saying about feeling left out and all that, I felt that all in my four years of high school. That's even what the first time I discovered getting to know people and internet friends. And like what I mentioned about those pages where you can find certain people, I even had the pleasure of getting to know an owner of one of them. Who I might link this video to, I might not, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, I found the idea of the page is super cool, where pretty much on Instagram, what it does is, it, yeah, you get two people who own an account that post people and they'll put up, hey, I'm from, let's say for example, hey, I'm from the US, I'm from the East Coast, and I'm looking for someone to get to know to, to talk to, and then you can DM that person and be like, hey, I'm from blah, blah, blah. I know what you mean. I have those similar interests and that sort of thing. It's really cool how it works. I actually know the heard of it. I'll show you it after we're done with recording, but it's really cool. And um, another example is through YouTube. As you guys know, I like, I really enjoy talking to my subscribers and I never am like that YouTuber is like, oh, I can't reply to my subscribers. They're blah, blah, blah. Me, I just, I like to use that as an excuse, like, to connect with people on the internet. Like, yeah. What you were saying also, oh, were you going to say something? Get out. Yeah, I was just saying about, like, you know, because as, as, as we are, are me, Justin, Nick, all of us, like, let's say the retro community, like, we're yeah, often, like, Hello. people small subscribers, and we often, like, more to the subscribers and like it's been yeah. a lot different for me. I mean, before I used to just comment, but I never like had that. Yo, yeah, that that connection until, and all that. Like now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Funny. Even like whenever I got diagnosed as a diabetic, which for those who don't know, I posted a video on that. I like what you were saying again about the people you have that felt very supportive. I had the same thing like. When people saw I was in the hospital, they were like, Oh, I'm sorry that happened to you, Justin. I hope you make it out alive and alright. And that sort of thing. And I felt, like, really glad about that. Because, you know, it shows... No matter someone's differences, no matter if you disagree with someone or... Or... Agree with somebody. You will get people like that who are like, I still support this person, no matter what. And that sort of yeah, thing. We just got, yeah, we just got to find them. I mean, <laughs> I used to, like, even, like, with my old school, like, I mean, I, I still follow, like, a lot of them on Instagram. They, I mean, they used to have stories of saying this, that, like, something's bad happening. And I always tried to be, like, even though, like, I never really known that person or something, or even if, let's just say to a more further extent, like, they don't like, they don't like them or some sort like that. I mean, I often just say something, like, supportive yeah yeah my gratitude, even though. yeah I get you I mean also I've had it to where speaking of internet friends again I've got I've also had it to where I've got to know people but then I feel like I drift away from them because the Definitely. thing is is nobody's gonna be perfect at the end of the day nobody will be perfect you, we all think, oh, we have this ideal perfect person we want to be and we want to get to know. But in actuality, that's complete bullshit because that's not physically possible. But the way I see it is good is to... It helps you whenever you, like, can video chat with somebody so-and-so miles away or so-and-so countries away. That sort of thing. I'm on my way. But that's the way I see it. <laughs> it with my experiences in that. 
And even when I met Nick again, like his family though was like extremely friendly. I'm not gonna mention too many things they've talked about and mentioned uh, on camera because I prefer to keep their lives, keep some of the things they said private. But like, for example, when I left New Orleans because I was only there two days, his mother was like, give me a hug, Justin. And then I did. And she was even like talking to my mother and she went, how long have they been friends for? And she's like, two years, I think. Nick, if you're watching this, you know what exactly what I'm talking about. And, um, no, like, whenever I met Nick, it made me curious, like, what's it going to be like whenever, um, I meet some of the other people I know on the internet, even the people in England I know. Like, for example, that girl again, I asked her the other day, I was like, so I have a curious question, since your family knows about me, uh, or, sorry, I said that wrong, I said, since I sent you the letter and you gave me your address, does your family know about me? And she's like, yeah, I, I talk about you all the time and that sort of thing. And that made me curious. I wonder what it'll be like whenever I can eventually say that day, hey, I'm eventually coming to Birmingham and I can meet you, you know? What I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I, I remember when you said like, I think it yeah, was like Nick's mom that, oh, was it who, who, who has who? Oh, it was, it was his mother hugging. It, it, yeah, it was his mother who hugged me, which I sent you that picture while you were in Istanbul. Oh yeah, for someone, <laughs> for someone who's raised up in a, let's just say, overprotected family, um, I, I was like, when he, when that happened, I was like, Eleanor, I was like, what the hell? Yeah, I mean, I didn't expect it either because I'm normally not that type of person who hugs somebody if I'm not like really close with them, if that makes sense. Even for yeah. another example is when she got to know me, she's like, wow, he's like a brown-haired version of Nick. <laughs> Which I don't think I really look like him. I thought for a second, she's like, oh, wow, she's a lot, he's a lot like him because he acts that way. It's like, for example, if I came to England, and you, like if so and so many years later, I, Jason, and I keep talking and then I say, I'm coming to England and then I find out, oh, you told your family about me, which obviously for you, it won't be right away that you do that. But like, let's say in the future, if that ever did happen, that happened, and then I'm like, and then something like that happened. I'm probably sounding like I'm all over the place, but I'm sure you get me. Yeah. It's just like, I really got the idea when I met Nick that he mentioned a lot about me and what I've done and that sort of thing. Now what's your thoughts on that? I'll let you go ahead and speak. Oh, I saw you kind of liked a bit. Oh, I was saying Hope like for example when I met with Nick, how the driver. I got the idea instantly I'm that so yes, he had, even before I had met him, he had told me he had mentioned nope. his parents to, about me, or he, yeah, he oh, had well, mentioned on, to, his, to his parents who I am, that sort of thing. But I really got the idea that they knew, wow, this kid made an impact on our kid's life, and he lives in Texas while we live on the East Coast, that sort of thing. Everything went to shit. And, and it can feel little, like... Sometimes the, the way I see it is with this people man. you've gotten to know Just on the internet the is you feel right. like, wow, this person's searching. text can Your really, I can really make killed. their day, or wow, uh, me texting Just blah blah blah, blah or I so and so, it. with all the people who I mentioned on my video, which again, as I'm recording this, this I haven't uploaded it yet, but when I do, you guys will know what I'm talking about. With all the people I shouted out, I can really get the idea that I definitely make an impact in their lives and I can see, wow, I'm getting closer to that person and that sort of yeah, thing. Definitely. Now, oh, go ahead. Well, personally, I never really had that sort of connection, like, by yeah. just making that black it. Because it feels like we learn that, because I've met people oh, who are like, same kind it. of area as me has the same stuff as me or similar and some people who are around like not the didn't live the best of life or had a shitty history but they say that I make an impact for them and 
to me, I think of it as that goes a really long way. And I'm driving shit in Watch Dogs. But you get what I mean, Idris. 